Then we got this going on. He tried to pass me on the inside. I've already taken it wide for this corner. Then he realized the trailer's there. And we gotta use up all the real estate. Turn into skid steer mode. Welcome. We're gonna be hauling out of the fire job. Now the job's done, I'm very much looking forward to getting out of here now. So I don't have to worry about them when we're out of town. This is definitely going to be a four wheel low kind of a hill. Take her nice and dang wide. Mechlek back there, 22 ish thousand pound machine bucket, and I cut a couple spare tires for a uh, little stump grinder trailer. My dad's drop those off at his house. Yeah, this is look at just how <laughs> begging for fire to delete everything in here. Four wheel low, max torque, easiest on everything. Just grunt in and power up the hill. Got the machine forward just a little bit so I got a little extra tongue weight. But like right now I'm in two wheel and I'm sure it wants to be in uh, second gear. These trucks always want to be in second gear. Try to keep second gear locked. Let's crank the trailer brakes up a bunch. Traction control is off. Okay. One thing I do not like is when you hit that button and it's telling traction control crap, it blocks what your trailer brake segments are at. See, there we go. We're second gear locked up. Third locked up now. Damn. Slower than first gear. It was uh, the first time towing down in here. It was a little nerve wracking. Steep hill. And then you gotta make a turn. <laughs> I'll put it. it comes. It's the thing. It's the first time I put it in four low to actually go up a road in and let it shift out at first. I'll put her in second. That way I know she'll lock that. But you see this corner here. Make sure nobody's coming that way. And we gotta use up all the real estate. Turn into skid steer mode. See what I mean? Real estate. Minimal. Keep that trailer out of the damn ditch. It's having to be a rock going right for the center of the duels. Yeah, boy. Dude, that is sweet. I haven't used automatic hardly at all. I've had one for four years plus. Fourth gen, 3500. And I've hardly ever towed with it off-road. I mean, I've done quite a bit on-road stuff, but put it in four low and that quick one-two shift, lock up. She just cruising up this grade. This is nice. Honestly, these trucks, even the cab chassis with you know, a pretty significant D rate to it. Very impressive trucks. Very impressive. It's pretty cool to see how they perform now. That's not a light load back there. I remember, or I mean, you can go get Low Boy and stuff like that. Low Boy won't come down in here. If he does, he's a dummy. Oh, nice car up here. Stop for me. Now I just got our four loads, grabbing some gears. We'll get up here to the blacktop and turn this off. Roll it up so I don't get a bunch of dust in here from this gal. Man, what a freaking unit. Next machine weighs a couple thousand pounds more than this. 
<laughs> See how that does. That, there was like zero white knuckling at all going up through there. I was a little bit kind of worried traction related issues, but no problemo. Wonder if the exhaust brake works. Don't feel like it. Now, don't work in four low, even though I'm in third gear. Ah, hit it house. work on the Mechlec while I'm gone so I'm dropping off dad's he's gonna talk to the mechanic well uh well he's working on it but then if you look close up in here they actually brought in the fire department came down with their dozers and you'll see uh, right here right in the road you probably can't see it on film but I can see a little little cleat marks as long as you go straight don't crank her hard doesn't have any issues but if that's what you got to do to get into a fire without risking, you know, the transport and or to get out of it. Oh, he took a U-turn right there. Gouged her up real bad. But then there's like a three quarter of a mile of this gravel to get to the job. Talk about a down and dirty turnaround right here. Use up all your real estate. Go out this little road. If you don't use up all of it, I know from experience, the trailer will leave the... Um, some gravel right there. Take her wide, take her wide. Let's see if I did it good enough. If not, just go through and drag it through the ditch. It'll be fine. How close are we? Yeah, two tires. Well, outside too, anyway. Go way up here. Man, I just couldn't practically see land living out in a road like this without doing something. Man, it's thick. Really good record on that turnaround spot. 100% first try. Kind of rare that a little turny turnaround spot I can keep that consistent. Yeah, yeah. Then we got this going on. He tried to pass me on the inside. I've already taken it wide for this corner. Thank you, amigo. Thank you. Then he realized the freaking trailer is there. Well, we got to do the deed of cleaning the deed. All logs are skidded, done, dealt with, everything, boom, boom. We just got to load up the prime titty. You get on out of here. We're loaded up, heading on out of here. She's a little tight back there. I don't know how often this road gets used, but I think the guy we're working for, he lives up there. I thought he lived over there. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, let's see how she does going with the Prime Tech, which is heavier. Get a little run at this hill right here. I have to go to four low. That did not. We're already far away there. The torque multiplier for four low is just 
obvious. Anybody that swears up and down two wheel drive is the only thing you need. <laughs> no thanks, I choose life. Just the gear reduction you get with the four wheel low range. Oh, way worth it. That shakes out. Hopefully the old boy goes to the right. Nope. I don't know if people realize you got to take these corners wide. Oh, he did. Oh, sorry, dude. Sorry for discrediting you. I think I got one guy that saved humanity today. My faith in it's been restored. Just stay there, dude. Just stay there. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, you have no idea how much I appreciate that. Shoot, we are out of that job. Let's hop out and check everything quick. Make sure we're out of the way so we're not hypocrite. Uh, had to plug one of my tires last night. Thing had a little roofing nail or some crap in it. You just look at how everything just transforms as soon as it hits gravel right there. I mean, people need to do some work up there. It just, I don't know, the motivation ain't there no more. Everything looking good. Everything stayed on. What was that? It's a piece of metal. Yep, get out of here. Yeah, that plug tire is still going good. 110 psi. Yep, it's still. Oh, that gal right there. She asked if we're all taken care of out there. I said, "What you mean?" She's like, "Oh, you're not with fire." I said, "No. When the fire was out here, they wouldn't even let us." Uh, What we got going on here? I said when the fire was out here, they wouldn't even let us get in to get the equipment and do anything with it. She's like, what? And I was like, yeah, that's how the system works. If you got the tractors coincidentally in place that you can knock out a fire line or something like that, they will not let you in unless you got a little doctor's note. Whatever. All right, let's get on out of here. Truck does a lot better when the parking brakes turned off. Ourselves a hard right-hander on the highway. I got to use the other lane. Physics, geometry. I got to. I got to go up there. Oh crap! Now there's a car there. Come on, get out of the way. General public couldn't tow a freaking boat. Understand that stuff. Either I go over there or I take out the stop sign and a fire hydrant and stuff. <sighs> it's kind of funny that gal said she's going to sell her house because of fires. An old boy. Where's the old one? Get those machines off that job. Jeez. 
Glad we got the job done. Didn't have to come back in there. Glad the guy's house and neighbors and everything didn't burn up. Just burn up the field on the back side. You have to look back at that video. But <sighs> It's been a stressful month. Buying equipment that's not cheap, but stressful. Insurance is stressful. You know, you got to make sure you're not biting off more than you can chew before you start biting, I guess. I don't know. What the hell? When everything's said and done, kinks are ironed out, machines are back at the house, safe and sound where there's manpower and plenty of water power to deal with it all. Uh, shoot. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video, share it. We'll see you later.